Mega so Magias Porioni, I want to check three more boxes for pupas or adults because I think it would be better to find them as pupa and save them in a peat pot, uh, artificial uh, pupal chambers because it's uh, less risk that the pupal chamber collapses and the uh, pupas die uh, hidden in the substrate. So let's see. This was a uh, 2nd of September, three months ago, it was still a larva. <coughs> I think, yes, but I think it can be um, a pupa already, so let's have a look and let's save it if we, f if we find a pupa in here. Well, that's an interesting moment. Now, look, I see this is still the huge, huge. Huge, huge pupa, uh, larva. And, of course it's a, it's a male, you can see that exactly from here. Because it's so big and we put it on the, it's 96.7 grams, that's nearly 100 grams. So this uh, is a huge animal. And it doesn't seem to wrinkled on the on the skin. So what I do, I will um, place a dry log of white roughened wood on the bottom of this box, and then I will put back all the material and see what happens in the next two to three months. So this is the the block of white rotten wood I'm placing exactly on the bottom of this box. You can also suck up a little bit of the excess water that could be inside this uh, inside this substrate. So we will make it in half. Like this. Well I will place these two pieces on the bottom here, put back most of this original material, that seems a little too wet, but let's see what happens now, if it puts the lava back to the bottom of the box and cover it with a little bit of the old material so that it is still is not completely covered it can move around here and then I think we wait for another two months and see what happens 69 grams going a little bit back is a sign that the poop is going towards uh, the law is going towards the patient but it's still not in that final stage so well, we wait 100 grams of a larva, that's incredible. Huh? It's really one of the biggest there are in this world. And it's one of the biggest people anyway, and one of the biggest insects that we can find on planet Earth. So, that's about it. Substrate looks not too bad, a little bit too wet. I would say especially on the bottom of the box, but this happens normally if the material stays too long inside the box it will be all slightly wetter later than at the beginning and that's also one of the reasons why it's good to check the boxes from time to time just to prevent that the animals die in an overly wetted substrate. Next box Look, this is a, a huge a pupa of a male here. This is incredible. And I think it's good that we check now the box because it seems that the pupa chamber here could have collapsed if we didn't help them out now. And of course, in this case, I first am making just a photograph to 
to document the place where we found it inside of this dirt piece on the bottom and as you probably can see the substrate really looks a little bit too wet so it would be of course a good idea to prevent to present this larva uh, this pupa <coughs> So I think it's a good idea to also present to this uh, pupa one of these famous peat pots where she can finish her development to being a nice and big male of Megasoma Diosporioni. So, and this seems also a little bit older than the other pupa. I want to just clean it a little bit. You look, it's a, a real, it's a handful of a pupa. This is a really big, and let's put it on the weight scale to 72 grams. It is, that's a really big one. You see, it's too big for the camera here. And it's moving around, so that's nice. It's living, and it seems uh, well. Probably I have to clean it a little bit back here so that there's not too much dirt on the so animal so and this one also it's not good to make this purple chamber too small because as you see here from the original it has the size of this and we must make the same size uh, for the pupa so that he can uh, develop develop perfectly inside of this uh, pupil uh, chamber here. So that's not. Nice. We have another pup of a male. Great. We will see where we can place it. As always, I put uh, sand on the bottom of the box. Make it a little wet. So that it's not drying out, and then I'm making a little groove into the substrate so that I can place the larva alongside in here. So the thing is, she, she has to move around while emerging from the pupal skin. So we have to fix it in a way that it, that the pupal chamber pots they don't move when the larva is trying to turn uh, over inside of the uh, box and of course we need some a little bit more of the uh, water on the top <coughs> that's the way to keep the pupa now for the next one probably two months and i have one more box and i'm very curious what is what i find in here Got all the material here they look practically all the same, the boxes from, and I don't see anything like a larva here around, so it's, uh, but now I see, a, I see a larva here. She already started building a purple chamber here, on this place. I don't know what it is, male or female. I just don't want to disturb it too long. It's 85.8 grams. So what we do, we try to put the whole thing back as it is. And of course with the pupa in here. <coughs> so that she moves the, she's still in the same place then. And can finish her pupa. Uh, chamber inside of this material. Material looks okay, not too wet, not too dry, that must be okay. And we can wait for another two months and then we go back and have a look what happened, whether we see the first uh, emerged males or, um, or, or pupas. Thanks for watching.